Hi guys, welcome to this session in Google Docs. In this session, I want to show you how to use document tabs. So what I'm not talking about are tabs up here where you're doing a tab across the ruler. I'm not talking about those. I'm just going to pull that off for a minute. I'm talking about document tabs, which you can access from this left hand pane. By default, you just get one tab, but you can click on this one and create other tabs and build up your documents. So first thing I'm gonna do is just type um, introduction and just show you what will happen when you create a heading style on that. If I just highlight that and go to headings up here, see it's on heading two from before, normally it would be on normal. You see that disappeared there? As soon as I put that onto heading two or one or any of these headings, it will appear there and it gives you like the structure of your document. Now I'm going to just paste something underneath that so I get some text. There's some text and if I come down and do another heading, I'll just call this phase one. I'll highlight that again. So phase one, I want that to be a heading two as well. It's totally up to you whether you pick heading one, heading two. It's, it's just a different format. You can see that there's a space after there on that style. You can edit the styles if you so wish. If you go into format, paragraph styles, you've got heading two there. You basically select something, change the style you want, and then just update it to that. That's how you could change these heading styles if you want. But I'm not going to do that because that's not what this is about. So this says tab one. I'm just going to double click on that and call it Steve. So I've renamed that as Steve. And if I open it up again, you can see that structure. Now, if I want another tab, I'll click on that. I get tab two, and I'm just going to call that Dave. So I've renamed that Dave. Now, you'll notice there's nothing there for Dave. I'll do Control-V again because I've got some text copied. Let's see if I can get it in there. There we go. So now Dave's got that text. There's no heading styles on there. Let's just mess this up a little bit. I'll change some of these features to make that bold change the color of the font to red so that stands out a little bit more so you've got steve with the, this information and dave if i double click on that you see you can rename it like so so what's this all about this is the ability to create a structure within a document that will allow you to quickly jump to different sections so this could be Steve's working on this this part of the document. David's working on that part of the document, totally independent. If I do Control P to print, it will only be showing me Dave's stuff. So it just says there, total page is one. And that's Dave's stuff. I'll cancel that off. If I go on to Steve, I do Control P for that. It's now just going to show me one page, which is Steve's. I'll cancel that one. Now you've also got the option there, if I just open Steve's again, on these ellipses at the end, if I click on that, you've got add sub tab. So this is adding tabs within a tab. So there's Steve. Um, I'll open that one up. There's a sub tab. I'll call that, um, what can I call that? Test. I'll just type something. like that so now i've got steve and that's that one i've got test as a sub tab which is that one and i've got dave which is that one i can do a sub tab on that one as well and then i'll call that testing testing dave is cool like so so we've got dave with this we've got Steve with all that this introduction and so on and we've got test with just a little bit on and we've got testing with another bit on now on this you can do um, three levels of this if I go and add another sub tab and then another one on that one so it's coming off there 
you can see how that works so you can create a structure if you want now if you delete any of this if i go for delete what it will do will delete everything that's in there not just the tab so that will delete my name if i delete that delete and then we're back to square one open that up and i can see my stuff so i'll delete this one delete and i'll delete that one now it's going to delete all of that if i delete this one it's going to delete all of this so i will do it delete and it gets rid of all of that so i'm back to square one and if i create a sub tab again on there i can use one of these i'll use that for that one i'll call it um, email because that's what it is like so so there's my main one You've got this little drop down arrow that can hide those sub tabs and then you can just click onto your details and it expands and shows you your headings if you've got any headings if you haven't got any headings it won't show you that information so basically that is how document tabs work the ability to separate your document down into sections to make it easier to navigate to and display the information. So hopefully that video was of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you in the next one.